Welcome back to Travel Show Live with Steve Perillo. My special guest is Everett Potter. Everett's modus operandi is not informing his, his readers about five-star places, but five-star experiences. Don't you like the sound of that? Is that five-star experiences at three-star prices? We like that, yeah. Right? And we find out about that on your website. It's a travel report. It used to be called a blog. Is it still called a blog? Uh, or I don't use that, that word too sense? often, no. Uh, it's kind no, of It's more of a newsletter, actually. Right. Yeah, which is a very old term. Newsletter, right. Indeed. Remember getting those in the mail? Indeed. Uh, EverettPotter.com. E-V-E-R-E-T-T -E -T -E -T Potter. <laughs> like Harry. Just like Harry. Like screen. Dot com. Just like what's on the screen. Like, just like right? what's on the screen. <laughs> Uh, Everett, uh, your travel report is updated regularly. Why should people visit it? For information on a number of things. One is value, finding really good places to stay that aren't going to cost you a fortune. Um, also for great interviews. I do interviews with, with various people in the travel business who never seem to uh, see light of day otherwise, but worthy characters like Jeff Greenwald, who I just interviewed, who's the founder of Ethical Traveler, 13 tips for traveling in a very sane and caring way around the world, especially in developing countries. Mm -hmm. um, a lot, there's a lot of cultural writing on there as well. Uh, a lot of what, I'm sorry? Cultural writing. There's right. a regular book reviews. There's a review right now of David Burns' recent book, Bicycle Diaries. The musician? The ex-talking head, how he bikes around uh, cities around the world. Did you get that interview? Uh, I, no, I didn't interview him. It's a oh. book review. Oh, it's a, it's book, a book review, review. that yeah. you did. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Um, but there's other interviews. There's an interview with Robert Redford on there about his okay. environmental uh, concerns. Yeah. So there's lots to read. And these are written. Are you going to get into video on the website? There's some video on there already. Yeah. As well. There's a video of David Byrne uh, biking around New York right now on there. Uh huh. And you're one of the major uh, <sighs> travel writers online today. Well, I'm, and I'm out. I would say I'm right? out there. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I write a lot for Travel and Leisure online, so you'll see me there. Uh, mm -hmm. I have a new story that just posted last week on Great Winter Lodges mm -hmm. on Travel and Leisure Online. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll see me on National Geographic Traveler. You'll see me on uh, Town & Country. You'll see me on USA Weekend. I write a column for USA Weekend. so I'm, USA I'm Weekend well. comes out on Sundays? On Sundays, yeah. And they have their own travel section? Um, that would be me, pretty much. Yes. That would be you, yes. and you're responsible it's for It's not so much a section as, as just a column that's yeah. there. Yeah. What did yeah. you write about this weekend? May I, um, Do you remember? I don't remember. Um, oh, I know, spring training. We have a spring uh -huh. training piece coming out. It's actually coming out next Sunday. For which sport? Spring right. training. Okay. Come on, Steve. All right, that's the wrong question. I don't watch, I don't know basketball. Do they have spring training? <laughs> I was thinking of polo, to tell you the truth. All right. I know they, they train in the spring, the polo players. Yeah. There's a precious little polo coverage in my blog, but I'll, <laughs> I'm going to change that when I leave here today. So. You have, please, for my sake and right. for my friends in Saddle River, right. five questions to ask before your next adventure travel trip. Mm -hmm. Five questions to ask. Uh, you don't have to answer all five questions. Questions. Uh, answer a few of them. Or well, what, what are the questions I, a traveler should ask? How fit are you? Oh. I mean, a lot of people decide they're going to do a bike trip through Tuscany, or they're going to do a walking trip through Provence, and they haven't ridden a bike since they were 12 years old. So yeah. it's a really good idea to start a fitness program, yeah. beef yourself up, and, and see if you really like to do it. You may right. not like doing it. Well, how extreme uh, is a bicycle ride through Tuscany? Is, is uh, it 20 as you, miles a day? It could, be, a day? it could be 10 to 20 miles a day. But as you know, Tuscany is something called hills. I don't mm -hmm. know what the word for hill is in Italian, but yep. there's quite a few hills Colina. there. Thank you. And you will spend a lot of time it's pushing a while to think of that. Pushing, <laughs> pushing your pushing your steed up those hills uh, and not feeling not having a great time probably if you're not in great shape. Well, so, speaking of speed, steeds, why don't they have horseback <clears throat> riding around Tuscany? New business. I don't know about that because there's there's some great horseback trips around the world in various in other countries. Portugal, for example, Ecuador. Like real traveling trips. Ireland. Not yeah, well, or just travel, you know. The you might stay in different places yeah. every other night, but you're riding yeah. um, five, six hours a day, sure. So are you in shape before you do an adventure trip and you test yourself against that's one of the, That's one of the big questions. And the other question is, um, well, one of the other questions is, how long has the company been in business? Oh. There's a lot of companies that call themselves adventure travel companies, and they put up a website, and they put up some pictures, and they look terrific, mm -hmm. but in fact... How long have they actually been there? What's their experience? Can you contact previous travelers mm -hmm. who've gone with them? 
So, so what are the ways you check them out? Do they, how long have they start, been in business? You just ask them? Or, you can uh, start by asking them. You can yeah. start by reading the site, and then you can start by talking to some of the other travelers right. that, they're, uh, that they've sent abroad. That's right. That's a great idea because some of them are uh, small, uh, small concerns. And some of the, sm and, and some of the some small of concerns are great. Some yeah. of them are terrific. And some right. have been in business for 25 years or longer. But uh, you want to make sure that they cover all the bases. One other question is, uh, what is your travel insurance coverage? Because uh -huh. you can get injured on these trips, yeah. on any trip, I suppose. But actually, there's a, there's a fair percentage of people who don't go on adventure travel trips because they injure themselves training before the trip. Believe it or not, there's, I don't know, it's like 8%. They're running so hard, so they're they biking so advice. hard. They took your advice and to they, train. They've and done prepare. this non refundable trip and yeah. uh, they're out five grand. So uh, it, do, it does pay to have travel insurance. Travel insurance is nothing. It's like two or three hundred dollars. Exactly. It covers everything. You can cancel for any reason. Exactly. You just don't feel like going. Usually, sometimes it's medical reasons, sometimes it's for yeah. any reason, yeah. but it's very well. Have a note from your mom or your doctor. That's right. That'll so. work for Perlo Tours. Any, just, Say you don't want to go. Right. <laughs> but, uh, what, uh, what else? Because I want to cover something else. But do you have one more uh, travel adventure? No, too? we can move on to something else. That's fine. Well, I want to talk about tweeting and what's happened to tweeting. Is that a value to travelers uh, using um, tweets? I think, uh, I think the jury's still out on that one. I'd like to think it is some value. Uh, I know some people who are actively uh, using Twitter when they travel to solicit um, for example, restaurants to go to. I'm in San Francisco. I live in New York, but I'm in San Francisco this weekend. Yeah. I'm going to send out a tweet that asks all of my followers where I should have lunch. I'm, I happen to be in, I don't know, I'm, I'm down by the water. Where should oh, I go to have lunch? So, so it's, it's really getting information firsthand, supposedly, from people who really seem to know this. There's a guy in England who actually tweeted his way around the world sleeping only in places that he found via Twitter. And, so uh, he would I can't say he did it very comfortably, but he did it. But he would tweet and people would take him in like some uh, would, would some do? would refer him to uh, uh, you know discounted lodging this sort of thing. And it was more of a stunt for one of the English newspapers. But do we have to end so soon? How much more time do we have? I'm talking to Edward Potter here. <laughs> All right, give me another. But you're a tweet a Twitter I twi a tweeter a twi Indeed I am. You are yes. all those things. I am all those things, all of the above plus more. Um, I use it basically to get people, to get their attention, to mm -hmm. bring it back to my website to read an entire story instead mm -hmm. of 140 characters. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's a great tip. You go to a foreign city and you start... But you can start you're before you... your friends, though. Yeah, you are, but your friends... Your universe. But your universe, your universe may include other people who aren't necessarily close friends, but people yeah. in, in, say, in the travel industry, or you're, you're following different travel blogs travel websites. Listen, there's not many great uh, travel websites on the internet that are uh, are this detailed and this valuable and it's free, my god. EverettPotter.com. It's one of the best travel reports online. Thank you, Steve. Everett, thank you very thank much you. for coming in today. Glad to be here. And uh, I look forward to tweeting you sometime soon. Please do. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you next time if I'm still on the air. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... <laughs> <laughs>